What does basketball and table tennis got to do with dancing? Better yet, what does raga and judo have in common with ballet? Most will be shocked, but for China they are all interconnected. How are they interconnected? Well, both are done by the body. What is it going to? It's movement. Actually, it's movement. When you when you analyze movement, there are three segments. There is space. There is time. There is energy. With these three, the movement begins. And when you do a some sort of a dance or a movement, you add the other one. Fourth one is the shape. So it's the the time, the strength, the the strength. What you give it and the space. On these three, it, it balances on these three. And then we incorporate what uh, what drag is or what basket. That's on body movement. Then dancing is also body movement. It's a different sort of movement we are going into. So I can say anyone, everyone moves. Yeah. The movement starts when you're in the, some when you're in your mother's belly, and then you find different way. You find to do something, you like to do something. Then you've been tracked into one line. Some go into raga, some go into basketball, some go into dancing, some go into singing, and then you find your way, and that's how it starts. In fact. Why and how your ballet, your 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 style is unique and different to others is because you incorporate those moves, the moves that you get from sport. You incorporate those moves into dancing. Would you care to explain how? Well, uh, I'm a traditional dancer. I have, my, I have a traditional background in Kandyan dancing, low country, a little bit in Sabaragamu, and of course Indian dance forms. Well, I wanted to do a unique, a different item of my own, something created from myself. And uh, it was called Swairi, out of bondage. Swairi. Swairi. And uh, I started improvising, doing movements. Every movement which came was from the Kandyan dance or the low country, whatever I have learned. So I knew this was not mine. This some, I have learned it from some, take it from something else, take the movement, put it here. This is, I didn't want to do this. You didn't want to copy any, anyone? No. Uh, not, you can't say copy, like, because you're borrowing even. Like, not anyone. You take the candy and you take a step called the idea and you just put it here. Then you take a few idea and put it here. I didn't want that. I just wanted something, something in our style, our oriental feel, a different thing. So, it, I was trying to, it never came to me. But then I suddenly realized that the sports I have done, thank you for the YMC, which is next door. I've done all these sports. It just comes to the body and I incorporate the sports movement. How? Like... Raga. Okay, say Raga and oh, ballet. Say Raga, you have a, you have a side thrust. You, you, it's a very fast, but when you improvise and do it slowly, with your high movement and you connect it. Or you get the disgust. The, uh, sorry, the... Yeah, the disgust. How it goes. Then you get the part. These are all dance movements. You, you, you do it with rhythm and different forms. Then table tennis. You need table tennis. Just that. Tuck, 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 tuck. So but everything you, you do, you, you incorporate into dancing, into, dance. into ballet. Yeah, but no one could pick it out. But when I say no it like... No one can pick it out. <laughs> we don't want to reveal too much, so... <laughs> um, and Shana, let's go into the, uh, the, the next question. I mean, naturally the next question. That, that is exactly why other people can't copy you. Because you have, as you said, between, between two steps, you have the middle way that you create on your own. Yeah. Well, uh, I can't say they're not copying, they are, they are copying and you know. The thing, you can't copy something, you, you lose in copying because you don't know from where the movement, has, where the choreographer, the director has taken the movement. Because what you see is not what you, what, what, what he does. Like if you tell someone uh, the measurements and if you, start, you get the whole head, the circle of the head and say where are you, what's the same, what, what is in the center? Anyone you see the nose? It's not the nose, it's the eyes in the center. But if you draw it, you see no, it's the nose. That when you say this part, they say this part, this part is shorter, this part is shorter. Shorter, but it's the same measurement. You see this, this, it's the same measurement. You take your nose, this, this, your eye, your ear, all this, there are measurements, body measurements, here, here, here. So what you see and copy, if you don't know to do it, you're going to fail in that. Are you allowed to? Every dancer can draw. I don't think to give a line to a, to a student, you should be able to draw. You can't, you can't, you can't improvise, you can't draw. Anyone can draw, it's just your practice draw. <laughs> and uh, in, on, in your question, what you were coming into was uh, like the copying part uh, you were coming into and uh, between two steps. Yeah. Like what I, what I do is if I have a step like a domi, domi, kitha, domi. Between domi and kitha, I, domi, I improvise on that. Between those two. A lot of people just ignore you, give into it, but then you you say, one, two, three, and you go. 
I improvise on the one to one to you know those. Yeah, the, the beat in between. It's not all. The beat in between, the 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 space in between. I improvise on that stage. You were criticized at, at one point, say, people, people said that your dance moves deviated from the tradition or the convention, and then suddenly everyone else copied you. Good question, criticism. Well, when I was first criticized, I couldn't take it. I was being criticized by the other dancers, the other dance teachers, the newspapers criticizing me, the other teachers were criticizing me, other dancers, other tragedy ones, just left and right have been criticized. And I was working on some good new things. There was a time I was trying to go on a ship. Our friends were going on a ship, working on a ship. And but before that, because I had worked so much, I didn't want to leave, get away from this. And I lost a lot of my friends. When I said dancing, what are you going to do dancing? Because I was a sportsman. Are you, are you mad? Are you going to dance? I just thought to myself that it's not going to happen. Then I went and met my teacher, Guru, Guru Chitrasena. He has a place in his home like an ashram and he was seated there, I went through the paddy field, I remember to go in there. And I said, worship and sat and said, I was going to say, I know what you're going to ask, you're going to criticize. I said, yes, uncle, I call him uncle because we're very close family friends. I said, uncle, I just can't take this. No, you played rugger. But his son played for Royal when I was playing with Sipasan, so we used to meet and our parents, and my father and Sipasan were together watching the match, I remember this. When do you get tackled? I said, obviously, when I had the ball, they come and tackle me. If you do want to be tackled, what do you do? I just threw the ball, I'm not tackled then. You have the ball. You're becoming someone now. That's why you're being attacked. If you don't want to be attacked, if you don't want to be criticized, drop the ball. That's all it was. Then I knew I'm going to be someone. And that motivated me to come on. Thanks for my guru, wherever he is.